Thank you. Eight. No. You know that character? Two characters. Eight. Mouths. And what do you make? What does that make? Boat, doesn't it? Does it make boat? Does it make up the word boat? Eight mouths. Eight mouths. Eight boats. Boats. And where does that come from? Well, God saved eight souls in the days of Noah. Noah and his family. Where do the Chinese get eight mouths from Noah and his family? Where did the, did the Chinese get the word righteousness? Do you know what their word for righteousness is? Justice? It's the lamb. I, I don't know if you've been to the countryside lately, but you can see lots of beautiful lambs in the field. Yes. You can make the sheep are having the little lambs. Well, the Chinese word for righteousness is the lamb at the top no, it's and me, not. man, it's at the bottom. Silly, yeah? And so Jesus Christ, the lamb of God, no. that takes away the sin it's of the world, he the is the Lord, our righteousness. Yeah. The Chinese have got it right. The Lord Jesus, the lamb of God, our righteousness. righteousness. We don't have any righteousness Jesus. of our own. Yeah. He is our righteousness. Amen. Christ is oh, our Lord, righteousness. Amen. Read Jeremiah 23 and Jeremiah 33. He's a grand and this wizard. is the name wherewith he shall be called He's a the Lord our righteousness. Amen. And then we read in the church in Jeremiah 33. We read, and this is the name whereby she shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Because the church the bride of Christ is his name with the same name as her saviour, the one who is the Lord our righteousness. Jesus Amen. Christ Why and his church are the Lord our righteousness. And if you read the New Testament in the words of the Apostle Paul, you will read that we are made the righteousness of God Amen. in Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why we have everything Brothers. to look forward to. And Jesus Christ came to save people of every tribe, of book. every tongue, of every people, and of every nation. He didn't just come to save black Israelites. You believe no, he in the fairy He came to save people of all you nations. The yeah. And so there's no racism with God. Oh, so you, God you loves all nations oh, yeah, because yeah. God created all nations. Amen. And we all came from Adam and Eve, Hallelujah. our first parents. No, no, and that's why we all have a sinful nature. Not true. Because when they sinned against no, God, from Adam monkeys. is the federal head Especially of the human you. race. Not me. Made Maybe you. That not all me. of us have sinned against God. Not me. We all have a nature which is sinful and that is why Jesus Christ came into the world he came all the way from heaven into a world of sin that he might be the holy one of God the holy one and the just and when he came into this world he came to die for sinners he came to pay the penalty to God's justice which was death the soul that sins it shall surely die God said that so death could only be taken away by the God-man, Jesus Christ, God becoming fully man in our nature and living a life without sin. That's the only way that eternal life Hercules could be restored to the human race. And so in Jesus Christ, we have everlasting life. This is the true God and eternal life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Salvation is a gift from God. It's not of works. None of your works, your Ramadan will not pay for your sin. Your Hajj will not pay for your sin. But Jesus Christ paid. No, he won't. You have no assurance. You still have no assurance. However many pilgrimages you have done, however many years you have fasted, you still have no assurance. But in Jesus Christ, we have assurance because his blood was shed for the remission, for the covering of all our sins. Not of some of our sins, but of all of our sins. That's why if any man be in Christ, God. he's a new creature. All things are passed away and all things are become new. It's a wonderful thing to be a new man. Yes, we've all had a sinful nature. But in, in Christ we are made new. Christ makes everything new. He gives us a new name. He gives us a new life. He gives us a new creation. 
He gives us a new hope, a hope in the glorious resurrection of the dead. And I know that many of you, all you're living for, all you're living for is to eat and drink and be merry. But Christ gives us We killed him long time ago. But Christ gives us a You didn't get rid of it. And he rose from the dead. Yes, he did. Not as a zombie, no. But as the living Jesus word me. of God, let it go. the word let it go. that was in the beginning with God was willing to come into this world in our humanity and then take that humanity up into God's head. For that. It's not. So you it's might not. not so you don't have. To, if you're Hindus, for me. you don't need to go through 83 million reincarnations. No, you believe in the Son of God and your sins come. You don't need millions of reincarnations. You don't need millions of prayers because you never know whether you've said enough prayers. You never know whether you've done enough fasting. You never know whether you've made enough pilgrimages. But when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, He's not coming. You're no longer condemned. You're accepted in the beloved. You're accepted through the finished work of Jesus Christ. And that's why I love this Bible. By the blood. Because it's my meditation. Day and night. If you feed on the word of God, you will overcome the world. You will overcome the devil. You will overcome the flesh. You will overcome the devil.